Hi, guys. So welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. And folks, we're not ribbon. It's the loon. <laughs> the loon. We're not ribbon yet. We're not ribbon yet. <laughs> we really, well, we're going to be ribbon yet. Oh, yeah, actually, you're, you're going to be ribbon Those yet. introductions are hysterical. Because that's my favorite device in the yes. kitchen. Because it means he's going to be in control of cooking today. Mwah. Yes. Mwah. So. Oh, and we've got, actually, let's just get, let's jump, just right jump right in. Tell them what we're going to make. Okay. We're going to make. Instant, instant pot beef short ribs. ribs. <laughs> oh, they are ridiculously yeah, good. They're so good and they're so easy to tender. make because I can make them. La la la. Yeah, yeah. He's our, getting really good at this, so you guys are going to love this. So what we've got here is our instant pot. And what I did before we came on air with you all is I put on saute and I put it on high and I went all the way up to 30 minutes because we're going to take all of these. Look at these beautiful short ribs. Tell us about those short ribs. Well, finish what you were going to say. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to saute them. We're going to do about three or four minutes on each side. So these are beautiful beef short ribs. It just went to our, our butcher. Most supermarkets They're so carry gorgeous. them. gorgeous. And um, you want them about like this, about, you know, two to three inches in, in uh, length. And um, they're gorgeous. These are so beautiful. And I just got some salt. Yes. And uh, the loon told me to liberally salt them, so yes. I did, and I got some <laughs> nice kosher salt, and um, they're good to go. Yeah. So what? We, so, so I put about two tablespoons yep. of oil in here. You said and that. And now, did I say that? You did say that. Oh well. Anyway, that's okay. It's worth repeating. Yes, it's glistening now because you got to wait for it to glisten, and then you, you just sometimes glisten. <laughs> I always glisten, especially in the summertime. <laughs> I don't sweat. I glisten. So <laughs> we're gonna set these right in here and listen. Ooh. I love it. That's the sound of deliciousness. Yes. And what did you do? You just salt and pepper these little I just salted them. You told me to salt them. Yes. Anyway, so. <laughs> um, so right. we're going to set these down here. They look so great. And we're going to let these go maybe three, maybe four minutes till they get a nice brown, brown on the outside. On the outside. And obviously, you can't do the, all of these in one batch. Yeah, so. I got to do a couple of batches. So we're going to do a couple of batches. So once those are brown, I'm going to turn them over. And then we'll do the other side, and then I'm gonna do the same with those. Fun. Oh Ooh, my look gosh, at those. these already? This yes. Is so incredible. So, just to remind you, what I did was I put them in here, let them sear three, maybe even less, three or four minutes, and I did each side till they get the, this nice brown. And what that does is it just, it's called the Maillard yes, technique. The Maillard. And, and uh, what it does, Maillard. And what it does <laughs> is it just, it creates almost like a crust kind of like on the outside. And oh. sear, so it stays coarse, sort of, it just keeps the meat really yes. tender on the inside. And it creates a beautiful, right. delicious crust on the outside. So we still have it on saute. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some vegetables in there just yeah, to add nice. to some flavor. Okay. We've got two carrots that we just, Put in slices there. We peeled and we sliced. You know. We peeled and we sliced them. Yeah, yeah. About, about a quarter inch. <laughs> My sous chef peeled and sliced I peeled them. and sliced and about a quarter inch thick. <laughs> and then we have a medium onion that we diced. Mm -hmm. Yes, just throw it's it all medium, in there. Uh, yellow or white onion. And yep. then we got two minced, uh, two large cloves that we minced of garlic. Of garlic. Yes. There we go. Okay. Now. Let's get all of that garlic oh. in there. Mm -hmm. And then we need a little of that white yes. stuff. What's that called? That, <laughs> it's not powder. <laughs> I used to call flour powder just when I was a child. Yeah, but All that, right. that's not flour. This is about a half a teaspoon of salt. We there love to go. use kosher salt. It's just yes. delicious and the right texture. Yeah, so now we're just going to let this in, sit in here until it gets, till those onions get nice and translucent, as they say in the biz. <laughs> And we'll be right back. Stirring frequently. Yes. For about three minutes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, oh, look at that. This. That looks so good. Oh, it's Woo, so I'm great. getting a facial. <laughs> <laughs> so good smell and facial. So now those are nice and, you know, they've got a little bit of translucency. I think that's a word. <laughs> Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> They're just starting to get soft. When, when they pressurize cook, they're going to get really soft. Yeah, this, this helps just this like looks so good, lock in that flavor. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a he add a heaping tablespoon of some tomato paste. Now this is going to kind of act like a thickener, isn't it, Mr. Man? Yeah, yeah. And it's just going to coat those tomatoes or those, or those sorry those vegetables and just deepen the flavor because we like deep flavor. Yeah, we're deep. We are really deep people. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to. Let this just sit in there, let it coat for about uh, two minutes. About two minutes. So yes. while he's doing that, I, I, I mean, I can honestly say that, I mean, I have made beef short ribs 
you know, many a times and love to braise them and slow cook them in the oven. And that's spectacular. But I, these are as good as you're going to find anywhere. <laughs> they are. And I really believe that this dish is the quintessential, quintessential totally. dish made for the Instant yes. Pot. Because yes. it pressurizes them. They become so tender, so delicious in such a short amount of time. It's just... And the flavor is still it's, just amazing. It's, it's as good as... You're, they're like they've been cooked all day. It's really phenomenal. Yeah. There's no, you, you're not losing any flavor. I don't here. Take a look. Yeah, that's great. That's great. that's perfect. That that's great. Uh, perfect. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a glass of actually it's a quarter cup or a cup. A half a cup. Half a cup. <laughs> Between those two, mm -hmm. a half a cup of this red wine. Now remember, if you don't like if you don't if you don't think it's good when you drink it, then don't use it for your cooking. Right? If it's not good enough to drink, it's not good enough to eat. Okay. And we're just going to pour that in here, and we're going to let this go get to a boil. Mm -hmm. And, oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Chris. It smells crazy. Yes. All right, so we'll let this boil, and when it starts to boil, we'll be right back. Okay, look at that. It's boiling? It's boiling. So now we're going to just let this go. For about four to five minutes, we're just going to let that four to five four not, to five minutes. No, let forty five. Let that evaporate like less than half of the, what's in there right now. Well, it, it it's going to reduce. It's going to reduce right. to about a third. What do you think? Will it happen con with that, it that concentrates. Liquid? Well, it, it <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're going to reduce. We're going to reduce it down to about to a third of, of what it is right now, and that takes now. four to five minutes. <laughs> Oh, oh, all yeah. right. Hey, oh. Hey, you guys, you, if you could just smell this. Oh, now it's reduced. It's reduced down to about a third of what was in there already. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're getting to the nitty gritty fun time yes. of pressure cooking. Yes. No pressure. I love it. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to turn this off so that it stops cooking. Cancel. There we go. Now, what we're going to add to this pot of deliciousness is a good cup of beef stock. Just throw that right in there. And then we're going to add a teaspoon, a little teaspoon of dried thyme. Just shake it all up in there. Dried. We like to use ground thyme for this. You can use thyme leaves, um, but you know, just oh, make sure ground. it's dried. Yeah, that was ground. If you was, didn't know, it notice. was really ground. Yeah. <laughs> and then one little bay leaf. Bay leaf is what he just said. <laughs> Thanks, so, interpreter. Oh, well, we need uh, <laughs> captions. We really need. Anyway, um, and ju also just so you know, I mean, you could have turned it off at this point, or you could have turned it off when he said to turn off. But either yeah. way, is great. Yep. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to put these lovely things back in the lovely short ribs, beef short ribs. Right back in there. I didn't have to stir that or anything, did I? Well, I can't it's a probably not a bad idea right. to stir it. You, you, you're... So it'll be all timey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll be all timey. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, I know. Okay. Be careful with <sighs> that rib. This. Those Sorry. things, once they cook, become so ridiculously tender. All right, I'm good. But the so, biggest challenge of this is like they're not completely falling yes, apart. Yes, yes. So I'm going to nestle these thing, these love things, these big the old stuff. pieces of beef. Back in these here. Ribs. These ri yeah. Yeah, ribs. These yeah. Yeah, ribs. Beef short People, ribs. If, they, if you're just tuning in now, they're beef short they're, ribs. They're not just things or stuff. They're <laughs> now it's important to note that you won't it's not gonna completely submerge these in, into the yes. liquid. That's okay. We're pressure cooking there. That the, the liquid that's in there is gonna pressure cook. It's just going yes, to be cooked them so perfectly. Good. And I'm just lay I'm just putting them all right in there on top of each other. Mm-hmm. Nice and cozy party. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to take the lid. We're going to turn the lid on. We're just going to make sure that it, it seals. Here, that lovely thing. Okay. Now, we're going to set this on meat. And we want to make sure that it's on high. Right now, it says 10, but we want to up that to 40. So, I'm going to just press this until we get to 40. And... Some pressure cookers are a little different, some Instant Pot. If you don't have the meat stew setting, you can put it on pressure cook um, or manual. Um, but Now, I want to make sure this top is also set on seal. Sealing, yeah. Sealing. Um, sealing, yeah. Yep. And so to just review that, what you did. You put it on. Yeah. So what I did is I put the, <laughs> everything no, I just, I, no, I no, just no, saw. The, the settings. <laughs> 
So what we did was we put it on meat. Stew. Stew. There's or you could yeah. also do pressure cook or manual. Yes, and then we set it on high. Make sure it was high. 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 And then we set it to 40 minutes. Perfect! Yay! <laughs> All right, we'll see you in about 40 minutes. So we're going to let this come to the uh, temperature, right? Yes, it's going to get to the temperature. This is going to build the pressure. This little thing is going to pop up, and when that thing pops up, it's called the valve. The valve pops up. It'll start the countdown from the 40 minutes. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are back. Okay, to so. To this pile of tinfoil. <laughs> All right, so let's tell you what happened while we were waiting for these to get done. So what happened is that this cooked for 40 minutes. You'll remember that after the seal um, sealed, sealed, after the vent sealed, then it started to cook. And then after 40 minutes, what we did is we hit cancel. So it stops it from cooking because if you don't hit cancel, it'll just warm. It goes into warm mode right. and, and you want it to completely stop. So once you do that, then we just let it sit for 20 minutes and let it just release its steam. It stops the pressure, the pressure. naturally. Yeah, and just let it flow out naturally. Just, just stop the pressure. Just stop the pressure. Stop the pressure. Naturally. Yes, yes. I'm always telling him to stop the pressure. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we did after that is what we did was we... That uh, was 20 minutes. That was right. 20 minutes. And then we did a quick release and that just let any air, any, any more pressure out that was still there. There may not be any, but right. and, and be always when you're do, when you're doing the quick release, you know. You, yeah, you, use I, an object, not your hand, because you'll burn your hand. Well, there could be ste if steam comes out, it, it, it's just best to use yeah. the back of a spoon. Yeah, and you know some steam comes. Okay. So, and then when it's done releasing all of its pressure, that little valve will drop back down. You and may then, hear our flow drinking. Oh no, that's it. Drinking, drinking water. a lot of water right now. <laughs> it's no longer steaming, but. <laughs> Ev is thirsty. So anyway, so once that valve is down, that means it's safe to open up your Instant Pot and look at those fabulous beef short ribs. Oh, and the smell, it, it's at this point when the, it's the releasing into the atmosphere, the smell, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it is so ridiculous. The dogs start <coughs> circling the island. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so are we. Yeah, so uh, once we open that up, we, t we very gently took out our beef short ribs and transferred them, transferred them one by one over to a platter. Now, once we had it on that platter, we went ahead and tinted it with some tin foil. Just loosely tinted yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And be yeah. careful. You use a couple of utensils, maybe a couple of people, because those bu that meat is so tender, it's going to maybe want to pull away from yeah. you. Yeah. And you but might lose a bone. It's, it, but that's it's okay. okay. Yeah, you know, it's it's get rid of it now. Trust me, you'll have throw a dog, throw a bone to the dog. They'll <laughs> love it. So after we did the meat, the beef short ribs, we went back in with a strain with a little spider or a strainer, and grabbed all of the carrots, and then we took those carrots out and we put them in a nice little container, and then we tinted it as well. Okay, We're moving right along. Now this kind of a fun little fancy thing that we did is we took. Once we were done getting everything out of there, we took this fancy thing called... It's not that fancy. It is kind of... It's, it's fancy to me. It's very cool, but it's... <laughs> this is a... I want to call it a defatter. It's a fat separator. <laughs> God, I would love to have one of those in my own life. I know. <laughs> Let me there just would be nothing left of me. It's a very simple... It's simple... <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> separate me from my fat, yeah. well, who would I be left with? Isn't that... Um, but this... <laughs> This is like, it's, it's the most simple little device, but it's ingenious. Whoever devised this is brilliant. Yeah, that's pretty um, amazing. So anyway. So what we did is we took all the we liquid. We have a link so you can buy one yourself. Yes, anymore. definitely. So we took the liquid out of, we took the pan out of the Instant Pot, and then we very slowly poured it into this lovely defatter that I call. <laughs> Fat separator. Fat separator. So just so you know, the, these ribs, they're, they've got a lot of like just delicious marbleization in them, which means they're going to render some fat. Yes. And, and, and you know, we don't need all of that in the, no. in the sauce. So no. if you don't have one of these, don't fret. You can easily just, you know, take a nice big spoon and you can see the, the, the fat yeah. kind of rises at the top. Just, you know, just spoon it off. Yeah. Oh, but these work like that. And once it's separated, what you want to do is, is very gently pour back in the contents and the fat stays in here. It's you pour the content back into the, into the instant. The sauce. Part. Yes. And, it, and you, you just see, as you watch, you see the fats kind of stay behind. It stays behind. on top. And then you're left to see that's how much 
fat was rendered from, I mean, you know, it's part of what makes these things so delicious, but uh, we don't need to eat all that fat, you know. Yes. So, anyway. Yes. Okay. All right. And now we're to this lovely point of almost, almost being done. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick up the flavor just a little bit. <laughs> okay. We got a teaspoon, tablespoon. Uh, a tablespoon, sorry. I get those mixed up. Only when I look at them, I know that the tablespoon is a teaspoon. Anyway, so we got a tablespoon of brown sugar. And what we're going to do is we're going to just stick it in here. <laughs> we're going to put it into our instant pot. Chris is so much more eloquent than I am. <laughs> I'm just like, shove it in there and then pull it out there and then we're done. It's so lovely. Okay. All right. So okay. I got okay. that okay. in there. And now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put this on saute and we're gonna put it on normal. So saute down here. Where is that saute? All the way down there. And we're gonna make sure that it's on normal, which is one more. And then we're gonna make sure it's on 10 minutes. So we're gonna, put so we're gonna saute for 10 minutes. It's just gonna reduce that yeah. sauce down. It's gonna be unbelievable. Unbelievable. For these. Yes. So we'll saute. And then when we we'll come saute. back, it's going to be time to saute and sanché. It's ready. <laughs> it's cooking rooms. to eat. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. We are done, done, done. You did it. Yes. Whoa, you did it. Oh, Woo. my God. I can't wait to dig into this. All right. So what we did was obviously we, we uh, took that with sauce and let it simmer for 10 minutes. And, now we, and then we put it into this lovely little... <laughs> Container. Serving container. Okay, and so then we put uh, we went Look ahead and put the, put the these delicious carrots on a plate. I couldn't resist Look making oh. my mashed potatoes because this <laughs> I'm telling you this dish it just begs for mashed potatoes. That sauce and on this. Have you noticed one thing different? He's trying it and not me. I know, I know. Because I be, cooked it. It's going to be Chris approved. That's so weird. All right. No, is, it's going to be Luna Should we put another piece of meat on there just because I know once oh, a week? Oh, sure. Here. Let's I'm do just it. just going to use my fingers, folks. Oh, gosh. Look okay. Now, these things are so tender. Ooh. I mean, you can serve them. I mean, watch this. The bone just, <gasps> that bone just, oh, ebb and flow. We're yeah, gonna love don't. That. So I'm just going to put that over there. I mean, you can serve them with the bone or you can serve that them. That one's on there. That one's on there. So the, let's just kind of do it like that. Okay. Now. Shall I pour yes, the sauce? Yes, go, okay. Okay. please, because I am starving. I know. Put some of that on the grit, on the potatoes. Like I said, <laughs> it's just insane. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't believe I get to eat first. I I'm know. so excited. It's crazy. I gotta go in for the meat first. It feels very full. Look at that. Me. It literally. Let's see how long it takes for you to get a I spoonful. Mean, well, that literally, I didn't, who needs a knife? <laughs> I mean, Get, a, get away, Mac, the knife. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So? I'm speechless. <laughs> That's so good. Tell me what you're tasting. Deliciousness. It's so tender. Give me some M-depth. Okay, some M-depth? Okay. M-depth. Okay, so it's so tender. It's literally melt in your mouth. The flavor, I love the... There's just a hint of sweetness in the sauce, and then there's a little bit of tartness um, and acidity, and then everything just goes together. I didn't realize you would go on for so long. Come on, hurry up. You asked me. What is it? What is this? This is 100% Chris approved! <laughs> Yay! Oh my God, the carrots! And oh Luna approved! All right, dig in, dig in, dig in. Dig in. You're going to flip. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Just made. Lord. Folks, to get this recipe and many, many more, just go to howtofeedaloon.com <laughs> and download, and you're going to love it. Download, watch, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Print. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube and all of our other social media channels and share and comment and everything like that. And I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, wow. Work. I usually make this. And he's taken over the Instant Pot, so you wow. haven't had this in a while. And no, let's don't forget about the carrots. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> All right, folks, make this. Make these short so ribs, and because it, it's a short trip to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and Bye we're not ribbing you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>